Hey everybody, welcome to a quick tutorial on how to make a sound font using polyphone software. Now, I'm sure there's probably other tutorials out here, so I'm glad you clicked on this one. Because um, I'm going to show you how to make this easy and painless as possible, and how to get it working with uh, Ableton so that you can get composing music with it right away. So, I have a bunch of samples prepared, so I'm going to go over here and open up polyphone already. And in this folder right here, Western Sound Font, we have our samples. So we'll take a quick look at those. I got a guitar, kick, low brass, ocarina, snare, tambourine, tom, trombone, and a violin. All the kind of instruments you'd expect to hear in a Western uh, film instrumentation. So right away, let's just hit New Sound Font. Now you're going to hit this button up here um, to select all of your uh, WAV files. And once that's done, you're going to want to click on each of these samples, but you're going to want to click select the left and the right channel for both of them. And then you're going to hit this button up here that says Add Instrument. So let's do that really quick. Great. Now we have all that defined. So let's go over to our instruments now. And let's make sure that we're not looping stuff that doesn't need to be looped. So on our guitar, we don't want that looped. So we're going to select this carry through loop playback option. We're going to do the same for our kick. And we want our low brass and our ocarina to loop, but we don't want our snare to loop either. So and probably not our tambourine. And basically any drum sounds you don't want to loop. Um, and that should all be fine. Now we're going to have to go through, and for the ones that do loop, we're going to have to define their loops. So we're going to have to go back to uh, low brass. And we can, we can listen to these samples um, in the editor. So... That's beefy. So it should automatically decide where it wants the loop to be, but we can uh, we could set our loop manually by clicking and right clicking. And over here, it's going to tell you if it's a good spot to do it. So what I like to do is just kind of look for the a general spot where that that doesn't show, and then we just pick another spot that's like similar. It's got to be a spot around here somewhere. Just about. And let's do the same for our violin. Our violin seems to taper off at the end so let's actually decide that our violin is not going to loop great now you could uh play with your midi keyboard so now let's go in and let's add these as presets each of these so Oh, my bad. You got to do one at a time. Make sure you keep your uh, percussion as the last preset you add. Just to keep things simple for yourself. Or they could be the first. But generally, you want to separate your percussion from your uh, um, instruments. just to stay organized. And great, we got everything down. So now we can go in, we can click on any of these and we can preview them with our MIDI keyboard. Good enough. 
All right. So now, without further ado, let's just uh, stop messing around with this and actually save it. So I'm going to save this in my Western Town font. And great. So now I'm going to pause the recording and open up Ableton. Great. Now I have Ableton open. So the next thing you're going to need is this plugin over here. It's called, uh, let me just type it in. It's a VST3 plugin. You can get it at Plog Technologies. Um, you want Sforzando. And this VST um, will play um, sound font files, which you just exported one, hopefully, just like me. So you're going to want to go to Import. And let's go to the desktop where we saved our sound font file. Right here in Western Sound Font. And we're just going to click this and we're going to import that. And now you can see it's got all of our information there. So we got a guitar immediately set up. So if we arm it to record. We can hear that we have noises. And uh, if you go over here, um, you'll see that you have each one selected and you can use it and it'll automatically repitch everything for you and it sounds great. Yep. Anyways, I'm going to quickly write a song and show you it. And that'll play out this video. Thanks for checking out my tutorial. If you like what you saw, want to learn more, you can hit me up on my Discord, which will be in a link down below. Thanks for your time. Bye.